Hi Taurus, and welcome to your monthly reading for June. If you are a sun, moon, or rising sign, you might find something helpful here. This is a general reading, but we can take a look at the cards and see what's happening and what insight we can learn for June. And June in the Northern Hemisphere is uh, going to have the summer solstice. So it's the beginning of the summer season with uh, a lot of fun activities, nice weather, and sunshine. So let's get started. I've already shuffled quite a bit off camera. I'll give it a few more shuffles and we can see what the cards would like us to be aware of for June for all Taurus. And that includes me. I am a Taurus. Okay. Let me frame these up. So we have the Page of Cups, we have the Chariot Major Arcana, and we have the Eight of Pentacles. So with the Page of Cups, the page is this youthful and um, sweet and sensitive uh, person, whether in your circle or whether these are attributes that will connect or help you. But this page is um, hoping for more worldly experience. He's uh, ready to learn the ways of the world and through connections, through emotional connections, through perhaps, you know, putting yourself out there, opening yourself up to, to uh, let your emotions speak and to come through. And so, you know, with the Page of Cups, you want to be able to have these type of um, interactions with others. And so whether you are dating or hoping to date, this could be an offer, this could be an attraction where you meet someone, where something is stirred. And so the Page of Cups uh, is here eagerly handing you the cup with the fish in it, and the fish is about creativity. You know, the Page of Cups can also speak toward your uh, interest in a hobby or the ex excitement and the desire to pursue something that really makes you feel happy. To, you know, again, water sign, we deal with emotions with the cups. The Page of Cups is someone who's learning and having all of these emotions and so you know, it could be an, an infatuation with someone. It could be an infatuation with an idea or a practice. So a lovely card to begin. Messages or offerings of these emotional connections are important because we, uh, we gain so much from them. So then we have the chariot. And the chariot is a regal card. It's a majestic card. Why? Because he is the master behind those uh, two sphinxes, the black and white sphinxes. And he is skillful and he has the confidence to drive toward the hopes and the dreams and the goals that he's trying to accomplish. And so the charioteer is using very much his own self of um, self-confidence and skill in controlling the reins. Doesn't mean that he may wobble or fall off track, but he is going to do what it takes to get back on track. So the black and white sphinx, it's about the things that pull us in different directions as we're trying to reach our goals, as we're trying to move forward. Boy, do we get pulled and pushed in different ways, and it does take someone as skilled as the charioteer to make it all happen. This is a card of confidence, of victory, of success, of reaching your goals. And so your goals, as we move through there, whether you are hoping to pursue a relationship, whether you are hoping to pursue a new area of excitement, or, or again, the word is infatuation, something that really stirs you, you know, maybe this is what's driving you toward that. So then we have the eight of pentacles. 
And what can we say about the Eight of Pentacles? The Eight of Pentacles, we see the apprentice here hammering away at his pentacles. He's very proud at what he does. He displays them. And that's important to take pride in what we do. And uh, some may call this a grunt card. Others may feel that it's the work of someone who's highly skilled, a craftsman, and someone who's very focused and dedicated at the job, on the job at hand. No distractions. You see the town in the distance here. He's not looking in that direction. He's incredibly focused on what he's producing. And so the message may be for Friday, which is to focus on what you need to do. Focus and uh, taking care of the details, getting those things done. And, uh, you know, you're on the right path. You're doing everything that you need to do to move and make progress. And again, movement in this card, movement toward your dreams, your hopes, your goals, your opportunities. But here is the continue to work. Be careful in your work. Uh, be mindful. Don't be distracted. And then we have the Page of Cups, which is, uh, I want love. I want this love connection. I want some type of um, uh, potential relationship that's going to bring a, an emotional release, an emotional expression. You know, the Page of Cups could be as simple as really telling someone that you care about, that you care for them, because it's down to how we, uh, how we are expressive with others, how we are emotional with others. So interesting spread of staying focused, keeping at it, keep going, trust that the universe and that your own efforts and your own confidence are going to get you to your goals. So let's take a look at the numbers. We have uh, one and seven is eight, and eight and eight is 16, and that reduces to seven. Seven is about reflection. It's about discovery, getting knowledge, perhaps using some of your wisdom. And then finally, to close the reading, I'm gonna choose an oracle card, and we'll get a little more information. So this says, yes, just say yes. Always a positive message to think about how you can make something be, make something come true. But if you think about in life, the times when you say yes versus the times you say maybe, or you flat out say no, and there's nothing wrong with saying no, because that's creating a, ba a healthy boundary for yourself. And, uh, you know, more often than not, you're trying to protect yourself. Maybe you're doing too much, you're too social, and so you tell a friend, yeah, no, I'm, I can't do that today. But having the mindset of a yes man mindset, a can do, of yes, I can learn how to swim. Yes, I can learn how to dance versus immediately thinking of a no. I think that there are always situations where you're going to, you know, where yes is a great way to think. And there's certainly situations where no, perhaps, you know, no means no. So that's just my take when I see yes, is that, uh, Yes is, is allowing opportunities to flow through you. So I hope that you have a great Friday and uh, hope that you enjoy it. And if you enjoyed this reading, then please subscribe, like, share, or comment. It's always wonderful to read your comments, so I do appreciate them, and I appreciate the time you take to watch these readings. I'll see you tomorrow for another reading. Take care. Bye-bye.